Climate change, health care and gender-based violence, all key issues world leaders are tackling. And in on those high-level talks at the Clinton Global Initiative in New York City, the Prime Minister, who during his address not only spoke of initiatives to assist in staving off the negative impact of climate change, but announced a key initiative on his government's end. Carla Palma has that story. We urgently need new and creative solutions to our climate financing. For Prime Minister the Honorable Philip Davis, it's a fact. He feels essential to repeating at every opportunity as the forces of nature accelerated by climate change continues to beat the Bahamas structurally and burden the country financially from devastating hurricanes like the last four making landfall here. A cruel irony is that for those four massive hurricanes, it cost us billions, leaving us with little fiscal space we need to get ready for the next storms. Topping the list of countries most vulnerable to climate change, it makes borrowing more expensive for me. Every single day, we are paying for the hurricanes we have already suffered and the ones still ahead of us. In addition, our nation's middle income designation leaves us unable to access fear and concessional financing for recovery and adaptation. This traps us in a cycle in which the servicing of our debt leaves very little to invest in building our resilience. He tells the Clinton Global Foundation how his government is doing all it could to mitigate the impact. We are working with other small island nations to fight for emissions reductions. We are strengthening our ability to respond to hurricanes. And we have launched a National Youth Guard so that young Bahamians can work alongside our disaster response teams and our national security forces. We are going to survive an era of supercharged storms by creating supercharged win-win investment partnerships. With our strategic advisors, Resilience Capital Ventures, we will work with regional and global capital market leaders to underwrite and place an innovative financing facility with a target of initially 500 million U.S. dollars. Even though confronted with the challenges of climate change, Prime Minister Davis noted how the Bahamas is still forging ahead with a view to turning adversity into triumph. As he says, the Bahamas is working on a scientifically groundbreaking program. Our country's seagrass meadows, which cover over 92,000 square kilometers, appear to be absorbing more carbon than the Amazon rainforest. We have been mapping our seagrasses with the help of not just scientists, but tiger sharks, who are a critical part of our underwater surveying team, wearing cameras and sending back data points. It's always good to have apex predators on your side. Those sharks are going to help us become the first country in the world to issue blue carbon credits. So as you can see, small countries can be big pioneers. Prime Minister Davis touted this initiative as the country's call to action at the former U.S. President Clinton's Global Foundation in New York City. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Carla Palmer. In case you missed the news or want to stay ahead, subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram or Facebook.